We're gonna do a little tour of the international markets today. Traveling abroad without a passport. There's some lentils. Yeah, I like the fava beans. Make fava bean soup with it. Broad beans, same thing. Cookies and coffee. And this one as well. Mocassarats. Peanuts. There. There's the tea selection. Good prices. I always buy my tea from here. I came specifically for the jasmine tea, but unfortunately we don't have any. So, a large selection of canned goods, delicacies. Produce is always cheaper up here than your regular grocery stores. So I'm gonna see about finding a bag of red onions. Here's the spices section. I'm telling you guys, if you want any specialty spices, this is the place to find them. Cumin, paprika, nutmegs. They're a lot cheaper than the ones you find in the grocery store. Seasoning and... I grew up eating these back in the days. If you guys remember this, leave me a comment on my uh, videos. Tell me if you've had them before or not. This used to be my old neighborhood. It's an old playground. Drove through here in snowstorms, in extreme heat, downpours. I used to ride a moped from this area going all the way to my school. Yes, a moped. My first TJ Maxx. Oh, I used to dress myself. A lot of nice shirts and belts and pants. This up here used to be the corner store, a gas station. It got leveled next to the Piper Inn. This used to be an international market. I had a job with this blackjack pizza a long time ago. So we're gonna go check out the House of Bread. Now we are in the uh, University of Denver. This is one of the uh, 
most expensive universities in Colorado. This is DU, Denver University. Super expensive. Now we're driving by the uh, Jerusalem restaurant. It looks like it's busy. Everybody likes falafels. It's been a long time since I've been there. I guess my uh, I guess my taste buds are changing. The first Chipotle in Denver, 1992. That's when this one was opened. Ladies and gentlemen, Costco Business Center. This is the another grade of Costco. This is a regular Costco. This is mostly geared for businesses and uh, restaurants, from slicing machineries to uh, professional grade toasters and cutleries. There's fridge for $99 for uh, dorm rooms. If you have a kid going to school. And here is boxes of chips coming straight from the warehouse. There's a case that has a bag of Frito Lay, but 64 bags. Because if you want soap, buy the gallons. Spoons and cleaning supplies. and drinks for vending machines. Paper bag, plastic bags. Yeah, if you have a regular membership to Costco, it'll get you access to this place. I'm here only after a case of chicken. Here's what I'm after. Munch meat by the bulk. Cheese by the bulk. Slabs of meat. There's a truck wall for four thirty nine pound. Final cost. I guess we're out of luck, we don't have any good cases of chicken. This is for the uh, restaurants that have fried chicken. This is what probably we're going to get. Chicken breast, we don't look for the jumbo. The full case here. I'll wait for the wife to come in with the cart. We'll go grab some. There's rolls of beef, 73% lean for 329 pound. 
get these big tubs of sour cream. Compared to my hand, it's pretty big. Big bags of carrots. Here's a uh, $5.99 salt price. Five pounds of onions, honey chops. Coleslaw. There's the seafoods. Place for the big eaters. Great appetites. Let's see here. It's three six two nine for a whole lamb. Three six two nine a pound. This guy will be about hundred and five dollars. There's a full tub of jalapenos. Pieces of nacho cheese. It's time to leave. And here's $172. The five boxes. One of them is a case of chicken. Chicken is getting super expensive now, so might as well get it from here. Yeah, it's gonna require some cutting and trimming, but for two and nine a pound, not better than eight ninety nine at a regular grocery store. Right. Thanks for watching.